Hey beauties, it's Riri, and today's video is a full face of first impressions. Alright beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like what you see, subscribe down below if you have not yet, share this video out if you do enjoy the content, and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified of future videos. Today's video is all about first impressions. I have a full face of first impression products. Some are new to the market, some are just new to me. Um, and as always with first impression videos, you guys, the, these are longer videos. So y'all know what I say. Grab your tacos and your tequila, your milk and your cookies, your Doritos, your Cheetos, your Fritos, whatever is your pleasure and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. I appreciate you taking the time to come and watch in advance. I'm going to take everything out of the box uh, and we're going to start. BRB. All right, beauties, we are going to dive in. I am going to be testing out the Guerlain, the L or the Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. This is a smoothing and hydrating gel to enhance the skin's beauty. Hydrating agents prevent the skin from drying out, and a combination of three tightening polymers forms an invisible mesh that smooths and tightens the skin. That's a lot of claims, y'all. Um, I do have two. One should be enough, but I have two of them just in case. So we are going to test this bad boy out. Oh, very pretty and very water-like. That is really, really cool. It has a slightly perfumed scent to it. Oh yeah, that feels literally just like water. I almost smell like perfume and alcohol. Not that perfume doesn't have alcohol in it, but... Let me try a little bit more of it. Yeah, you definitely need the whole pack, I think. Yeah, you can definitely see the gold glitters in there. I hope it's not visible to the skin once it's on the skin. I am all for hydration and, uh, you know, a glow, luminosity, wet looking skin. I do not like glitter. I do not want a glitter bomb on my face. I will say the texture is beautiful. It is very, very light. I'm not seeing the glitter on my hands up close, so I don't think that I can see it on my face. Hold up, let me inspect. <laughs> yeah, even in my 10 times magnification mirror, that's so strange. I don't, I don't see it at all. Hmm, okay, I like that so far. I don't feel like it's super duper glowy. We'll kind of give it a second and see what it does and then I'll go through some of the other products we're going to be testing out today. I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I know this is not new but it's new to me. <laughs> I'm going to be testing the new Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer today. We're going to be going in with the new Tarte C um, Peach Sunset Cream Blush. I have a sample of the Charlotte Silbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara. I'm intrigued by that. I have the brand new launch of the Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze Highlighter. I have another indie brand to test out. Y'all, I've had these for months and just have not had the time to test them out. But it's Midas Cosmetics. And I have two different palettes to test out for you guys today. For my brows, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty, the Brow MVP um, Brow Pencil. And then I have the Patrick Ta for brows. I also have the new Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury, and I will be trying a lip product from Pat McGrath. So we have a lot of exciting things to test out. I'm hoping that this is a win. Sometimes we have all wins, and sometimes we, we don't. <laughs> so I think this should be kind of set into the skin. I do definitely see a level of radiance, um, and I actually am seeing right through here, the longer it's setting, I do see that my pores are starting to look a little bit smaller, a little bit more kind of diffused. Okay, um, I will say if you're kind of super sensitive to scent, well, again, it smells kind of perfumed, like alcohol-y. Um, maybe wouldn't recommend it for you if you have very sensitive skin or you're very sensitive to scent. So next I'm gonna go into the foundation. If this is not my shade, we're, we'll just make it work, you guys. It's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, this says massage well if needed pump and squeeze tube simultaneously to release the air um, And then it says a hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones long wear and light as air I did get shade 235. I don't know that that's the right shade <laughs> Normally I do okay, but kind of transitioning, you know kind of at the beginning of summer I am, you know, obviously more tan than I usually am but not super tan like I am at the end of the summer But not light like I am in the winter 
you get the point. So I'm going to kind of massage it around. I love squeezy tube foundations like this, you guys. All right, we're going to go in. <laughs> so I always do my foundation and pump it on the back of my hand. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Uh, any day now? Hallelujah, there, there we go. Okay, that took a while. <laughs> okay, I probably got way, 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 way too much. I wouldn't call it super runny, but it is definitely kind of sliding down my hand. I don't mind that texture at all. I'm going to go in with a Kabuki brush. This is my LaRouche LR322. I always put a little bit on my brush and pull it down and kind of start to shear it out so that I get a little bit more even coverage. And then I like to go in on this part of my complexion first. That's where I have the redness, the broken capillaries, things like that. And I start here with stippling or pouncing motions. If you go straight in like this, you guys, first of all, it's gonna leave streaking. You're gonna see brush strokes and stuff like that, and it's not gonna build up as much coverage. So that is why I like to do it in this manner. Ooh, that is really pretty. So kind of once I've laid it down, let me cover up my feety here. Once I've kind of laid it in place, then I will slowly start to shear it out from here. Again, kind of doing more pouncing or stippling motions. Ooh, that smells nice. Unless I'm smelling the Guerlain still. It's not overpowering or anything. I actually think the shade is okay as well. We can make it work for sure. I'm gonna be very cautious because this is a more matte or like full coverage type of product. I'm gonna be very careful under my eyes. And as always, we will do half of the complexion first, and then I will get up close and personal. And now that I've shaved my head and got my mohawk back, we gotta be really careful about going toward the hairline. So again, I'm gonna pull down just a little bit more. That is very pretty. <laughs> I always get afraid, you guys know this, I'm typically a less is more beauty, and I always get kind of afraid of super matte coverage, super matte or full coverage, but this is definitely feeling light, as it says. I don't feel like it's itchy or weird. I don't feel like when I kind of go like this, I can like feel it on the complexion. And then the tiniest little bit on my forehead. I tend to not put product where I really don't need it at. That's when we can run into bunching and, you know, cakiness, dryness. I don't see it kind of sticking into any of my dry patches just yet. It blends out beautifully. Wow. I really like that. And I can still kind of see like the dewiness kind of peeking through a little bit. Okay, y'all. So, so far so good. We'll get up close and personal. So you can see before, I definitely have uneven skin tone. I have some hyperpigmentation, broken capillaries around my nose. I do have some acne scarring, rosacea, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, everything you can have on your skin all at one time. <laughs> and then here's after. I think it looks stunning. And I love the fact it could be because I used a more glowy or, you know, hydrating type of a primer. I do still feel like it looks skin-like. I don't feel like it looks overly heavy or cakey or anything like that. Hmm. So far, so good. So we'll see how this wears throughout the process. Al will do the other side off camera and I will be RB. All right, you guys, I like this. I like this a whole, whole lot. I really love that it has really beautiful coverage, but I don't feel cakey and it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So again, we'll kind of see how everything meshes together. Next, I'm going to go into the Tarte Breezy Cream Blush. This is the shade Peach Sunset. So that is what it looks like. Oh, that is quite balmy. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Quite balmy. 
And with a cream blush, I typically will either just very lightly tap if little patting motions with my fingers, or I will go in with a duo fiber brush. So I'm actually just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. So you can see there. And then I'm going to go in with the brush and again kind of pounce and pick up a little bit of product. Okay, that is quite subtle. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Let me try to go in with my fingers. I just get really nervous, you guys, because products like this oftentimes can pull up your foundation or your complexion products. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. And you typically want to go in first with cream products before you powder. I do have the Tatcha powder to try, like a little sample of that, so we'll see if we actually need to use it or will use it. Okay, I don't feel like it's pulling up any product or anything. I don't feel like it's like sticking in one place. That's really pretty. Quite subtle, but very beautiful. And of course, we gotta put a little bit on the nose, just a, just a touch. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I like that. Zero scent, I like that as well. Then we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze Skin Glowing Perfector. I did get the shade Aphrodite. I think it might be a touch too dark for me for right now, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, that is what it looks like. The compact I can say is beautiful. It's this clear frosted packaging. It does feel quite heavy. And... Oh, that feels nice. It feels very much like the blush did. So it is a beautiful gold, kind of more leaning like bronze. So again, it may be a little bit too dark for me, guys. I do apologize. I'm just going to go in again with my fingertips and lightly press. I feel like I got too much on my fingers trying to swatch. <laughs> and I'm staying at the very high point of my cheek. Actually, I don't feel like it's too dark at all once I'm kind of blending it out. The texture is really nice. It's actually way more kind of sheer and subtle than I thought it would be, but quite beautiful nonetheless. And let's put a little bit on the nose. Again, kind of patting or tapping motions. I'm not rubbing or tugging. I do want to smell it. Again, no scent. I'm actually shocked. I When I first opened this, like online, I was like, oh, that'll be perfect for me. And then when I opened it, I was like, um, that might be too dark. <laughs> but I don't think that it is. I think it's stunning. I love products like these, especially in the summertime. I'll go on my Super Goop glow screen and then put like a glowy, you know, blush, glowy bronzer, some mascara, and like a lip oil, and I... I feel beautiful. I feel stunning for the summertime. I am going to spray it and just kind of press it out a little bit. It does look slightly muddy only because of the shade um, on my nose. So I'm going to go with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Oh, wow, that enhances it so much. I love putting spray and kind of pressing everything out. It just makes everything really blend into the skin become one with your skin as opposed to sitting on top of the skin. I really, really like that, you guys. So far, so good. I'm. We don't always have good luck like this, y'all, in our first impressions. Okay. Yeah, this is stunning. Blinding, but like skin-like still, like almost just wet on the skin. I think that is stunning. Okay, y'all, so far, so good. Next, we're going to powder up um, just lightly, just so I can try out the Catrice bronzer. This is the Tatcha the Silk Powder, and I just have a little sampler of it. I've heard kind of mixed reviews about this. I'm very nervous. You guys know I'm a less is more beauty when it comes to powder. So I'm very lightly going to go... Oh my god. I don't know if that's like that in the actual compact that it comes in, but that is a shit ton of fallout. I'm definitely going to tap that off really, really well. <laughs> and I'm lightly going to, again press and pat it onto the cheeks. And that is only because my skin right now is so dewy because of these products that if I were to go in with the powder bronzer, um, it's just going to stick in place and it's going to be a muddy mess and it's not going to be cute at all. 
but I don't want to lose all of the luminosity. So again, I'm only pressing out where I really need to put it at. Who has powdery as shit? Mm. Uh, that feels very dry, you guys. Very, very dry. I'm so scared to mess up my makeup because I'm loving how it's looking right now. And I'm comparing this, you guys, like my one of my favorite powders is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I know it's expensive, but in my personal opinion, it works beautifully. And if I'm comparing that to this, that actually offers a little tiny bit of coverage. And I really do feel like it blurs the complexion. Um, this, I do not. I definitely feel like it looks incredibly dry. Of course, you guys will see everything up close. Oh, I don't, I hope this is set enough to put bronzer on. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna move forward. Yeah, I don't know that I'm a fan of that. I feel like it's maybe a little too drying, but we'll see what happens. Next up, we're gonna go in with the Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer um, in the shade Golden Ecstasy. That is so pretty. I love glowy bronzers, glowy blushes. So that is what that looks like. And they are a cruelty-free brand as well. Yeah, I, oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna really like that. Ooh. And of course, I'm going in with my Judy brush from the crayon case. What can I say? I love this brush. Zero fallout. Like nothing. Okay. And no scent. I'm going to start up at my hairline. Ooh, that's pretty. Looking at how this looks right now these two products almost kind of mimic one another kind of like in their tone and the level of radiance to them so i think they are really pretty together all that glow is be oh i love it it's blending out well i don't feel like it's sticking in place or anything i do like the shade of it as well yeah i think that's quite complementary to the highlight Ooh. So far, other than the powder, y'all, I'm loving everything. Okay, I'm going to do my brows next. We're going to go into the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Brow MVP, Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. And I got light brown. Again, I hope that's the right shade for me. So pretty standard packaging. It does kind of have a like triangular shape to it. So let's see. Okay, that's really fine, like I like, and it, the color actually looks pretty good. And in this little brush thing, I'm kind of weirded out about this brush. We're going to try it. I don't ever use, if you've been here, you know, I never use the spoolies on the end of a brow pencil. I don't care what brow pencil it is. I always use these little throwaway ones because I like to just point them the way I like in the direction that I like. Um, but we'll try out the brush just for today. I'm going to have to put my mirror up close. I do apologize if you can see it, guys. But y'all know Mama's blind. <laughs> so when I'm doing my brows, if I'm actually doing kind of a full on brow, I will start right out here because this brow obviously is a little bit short of where it kind of needs to be. I will go underneath. I will bring it out to the end and kind of fill in my tail ever so softly. Okay, so far so good. What I'm looking for in a brow pencil is I like a very fine pencil. I like one that is pretty firm and stiff. Um, but not so firm that it's dragging my skin. And I don't like them to be ultra creamy because they just become a weird muddled mess in my brows. So I don't like that. So far, the texture and the consistency on this one is, is really, really nice. I like that. I think I could go probably the next shade up. I don't think it's a bad match, but I definitely could go a little bit darker. And I literally just go through the brow. I'm going to try this brush again, y'all. I never use them. It's not because of Fenty. I, I just never use the brushes. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, I like that. It really kind of blurs that edge right there. Oh. Well, color me happy, honey. And then I'm going to brush this part down. And go up to my arch. And meet my tail. You guys know, again, I may less is more beauty. I don't like a, you know, super harsh brow. That's my personal preference. Oh, wow. Okay, I like that. Definitely slightly lighter than probably what I do need. I think while we're here, I'll do finish up this brow and then do the other one off camera. I have no idea how to use this. Um, so yeah. <laughs> this is the Shaping Wax in Clear from Patrick Ta. He has one of my favorite blush formulations of all time, so I have high hopes for this. Um, again, I, I I never use these. Like if it didn't come together in my little Sephora sampler, I would I would not have purchased this by itself. So for the sake of the video, I am going to use it. I'm going to shape it the way I always shape my brushes. And it does say, activate the formula with a setting mist or water. Brush a spoolie or firm brush into the pan and pick up a small amount. Brush through clean brow. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Um, brush through cleaned brows in an upward, outward motion, then shape as desired. Well, shit. Um, I'm still going to try it, I think. Um, and if I have to take the brow off, we can. We can fix it. How the fuck do you open this? Okay, there we go. Oh, that is so weird. I've never seen anything like this in person. Like, it literally looks like there's nothing there. And you can't mush it or press into it. That is so strange. So I'm just going to spray, I guess, this in here a tiny bit. I don't know how much to use. <laughs> We're learning together, y'all. We are learning together. And I don't know how much to pick up. It just says a small amount. I don't feel like I'm getting anything, but maybe I am, but maybe I'm getting too much and don't realize I'm getting product. Oh, hell. Uh, I don't even know if I have any on here, y'all. Okay, well, I'm going to go for it. Um, <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, I definitely got too much on there. Crap, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Okay, I know I was supposed to do this before my product, you guys. I got a big ball on there. Hold on, guys. But even with this product already in here, I don't feel like it's disrupting it too much. Holy crap. Whoa. And I typically have been using, you know, the Urban Decay Brow Blade and Brunette Betty is like my holy grail. Um, and I really like the NYX kind of glue. That looks really good. It definitely took some product off, but we can fix that. But this doesn't feel quite as like, I hate to speak negatively of the NYX one because it is of course much more affordable. Um, but the more that I've kind of used it, I've almost panned it. It literally just feels like glue and it gets weird and stringy and like sticks to my skin and stuff like that. So I, don't, I like this. Oh, I did not think I would like something like this. You guys know I'm not really the like bushy brows, stick them to your skin type of person, but I don't mind it. Okay, this doesn't really go on top of it. I, I'm honestly maybe doing this wrong, you guys. Trial and error over here, honey. We're human. So I'm actually going to go in with my brow blade. <laughs> and just where it pulled it up, just ever so slightly right here, I'm going to put a couple little hair strokes there. Okay, so I know for next time. Wow, I like that. That was super crazy easy, too. And I'm going to go ahead and say like less is more and you're actually, you're getting product. If you don't think you're getting product, you're, you're getting product. BRB. <laughs> All right, really quickly. I just wanted to show you guys, I did it the right way, the right way this time. Um, so this is without any other product and it going in clean. And I, I love it. I'm very self-conscious about my brows, you guys. And this actually makes me feel like I have a brow and like, it makes me feel confident. So yeah, I'm going to go through with the brow blade and then use the Fenty underneath. So BRB. All right, beauties, we are back. Y'all, I like that a lot. 
So my lids are primed. I went in with my Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base in Buttercream. I've really been loving this. So now we're going to dive into Midas Cosmetics. They are a Afro-Latina owned, affordably high affordable, high quality makeup and a cruelty free brand. There is their IG. Of course, I will link them below. You guys know anything that I use will always be linked down below. But y'all know my love and admiration for indie brands. So I'm extremely excited. I do have their High Times palette. Again, I have not swatched these or anything and I've had them forever. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. A green based palette. We have a few pops of orange and a couple of neutrals as well. Y'all know I love greens. I think that is absolutely stunning. So we will dive into that. And then I also have the Midas Cosmetics Volume 2. It's like a little mini palette. I like the design on it. And this one is honestly very, very similar. There's maybe one shade that's slightly deeper. And then this middle shade is a duochrome. I think honestly, because of the Black Moxie I recently tried, there's a shade very similar to this. I am actually going to give this away to one of you guys. Y'all know the deal with the giveaways. All deets will be in the description box. But to enter to win, you're just going to put enter me with a yellow heart down below. Be subscribed. Like the video. You must be 18 and in the U.S. Of course, all deets are down below. So I'll just give this to one of you guys. So we'll do some quick swatches and then we'll go in with a look. First up is Kali Mist, then Train Wreck, OG Kush, and Acapulco Gold. Wow, these feel very, very nice. Holy shit. So Kali Mist, hopefully I'm saying these right, y'all. The font is hard for me personally to read. Um, Kali Mist, Trainwreck, OG Kush, and Acapulco, Acapulco Gold. Those are beautiful. <laughs> Next up are Kermit Gelato Joint and Jelly Bean. Okay, the Kermit feels slightly more dry, like a pressed pigment. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that joint is beautiful. <laughs> All right, so Kermit Gelato Joint and Jelly Bean. Kermit Gelato Joint and Jelly Bean. I love this color story. I cannot explain how much I love this color story. Next up, we have Tangy, Cynex, Sage, and Harlequin. Again, these all feel very, very soft. The only one that feels any different is the Kermit. That's definitely more of a pressed pigment formulation. Everything else feels wonderful. So we have Tangy, Cynix, Sage, and Harlequin. Oh, wow. The Harlequin is beautiful. That one's Harlequin right here. So, so far, swatches went great. I'm going to go in first with the Tangy shade, which is that kind of mid-tone mustard shade with a fluffy brush. This is an SL Miss Glam PG34. I'm getting quite a bit of kick up. So let me tap the brush off. And we're going to lay this in the crease very softly. So far, so good. Of course, just a, a light transition shade. I don't see anything kind of bunching or sticking or anything like that. Next, I'm going to go into Train Wreck, which is this one right here. Same brush. And I'm going to come a little bit lower. Still kind of staying in the crease and bring it down on the lid ever so slightly. Okay, still no muddiness or anything. Everything's blending really beautifully together. All right, I'm gonna go into a slightly more firm and smaller brush. This is a LaRousse LR005. And I'm gonna go into, and I'm gonna go into Cinex, which is right here. Very, very lightly, because a lot comes onto the brush. And, whoa. Oh, that's beautiful and really add some depth to the outer corner. That is pretty. Same brush, very lightly again, and I'm gonna continue that shade to the lower lash line. Ooh, 
That color is stunning, you guys. Stunning. I'm going to go into a clean, fluffy brush and go back into Tangy, which was our first shade. Very, very lightly. I just want to reinforce it ever so slightly across the top of the brow. Just so that our gradient is still there and it's apparent we can see each shade. Yeah, this is beautiful. I like this palette a lot. We'll see how it wears, of course. Y'all know that's super important to me. Okay, cool. I wish y'all were here so y'all could tell me what shade to use. Um, I think because I kind of always do like the more goldy and green, I think I'm going to use the Jilly Bean shade. I'll go in first with my finger, as I always do for metallic and shimmer shades. Beautiful one swipe coverage. Oh, that is pretty. The texture of these is really, really nice too. There's not a lot of glitter or anything like that in there. Y'all know that's not my vibe. Okay, that's not the way I go with stuff. I go in with a flat brush just to make sure that this is a little bit more precise. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then same brush, no additional product, the same brush that we had the Cynex on. And I'm just gonna make sure it's reinforced and we do not have a harsh line between our matte and our shimmer shade. I also think, I wish there was a shade that was slightly lighter to kind of pop on the inner corner. Um, I'm gonna try the Kali Mist and see what that does. This is just a Luxie 141 teeny tiny little pencil type brush. Oh yeah, that works beautifully, okay. Ooh, and then where the half of the lower lash line is bare, I'm gonna drag that across and meet our mat. All right, y'all, I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna do this eye and I'll be RB. All right, beauties, we are in the home stretch, y'all. Bear with mama, go get another snack. Get two more snacks. I'll wait. Okay, we are gonna dive now into the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk push up lashes. I have a little mini mascara. This says instant volume length and 24 hour lift effect. We'll see. Just a cute little thing that I got in my little Sephora order. So we're gonna look at the wand first. Ooh, this is not my favorite kind of wand. Not even gonna lie. Um, I like a big kind of fluffy hourglass shaped wand. That doesn't mean that this is not going to work, but typically these kind of like with the Maybelline Sky High, um, they give just kind of more lift and length and I like lift, length and volume. So we're going to dive in and just see. I'm also really scared of these because my vision is bad and I'm scared I'm going to poke myself in the damn eye. I like it. Um, it definitely lifts and separates, but I don't feel like it's super, super black. I love it for the bottom lash line. Um, it kind of honestly reminds me of the Maybelline Sky High where I kind of just get a lot of lift and length. Um, it's still really pretty. I don't know based on price that I would like repurchase it, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Now we're going to go into the Pat McGrath Labs. This is their Lip Fetish Divino Lip Shine, and I got Nude Venus. I love the component on this. Um, so I do like the component. I think that is a stunning shade. And Lip Divino, I'm assuming it's going to be more of a kind of balmy type of texture. Okay. Overall, I think I like it. I feel like I can feel like the little glitters or something that's in here. Like the texture is a little strange to me. It's not sticky or tacky. I do like the amount of shine that it has with it. Um, this is not my favorite color, um, but that's personal preference, of course. So I think overall this is just an okay for me. Um, the texture is just a little off for me, um, but I do like how it looks and it is quite creamy, but I don't think I'm a super big fan of that. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, thank you again for being here this entire time, is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night Stay All Day Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. We're going to see how the sprayer is first. 
Oh, yes. I like a mister like this, how it's really fine. It has a nice, big, wide spray radius. Oh. Oh, that smells very nice. It smells like a really clean, fresh, like, perfume, but, like, very, very lightly scented. And I typically do my spray before I do my mascara. So, normally, I'd keep that in mind. I would normally do that. I feel like that definitely refreshed everything. Like, everything just kind of came to life all of a sudden. I like the mister on it. It smells really nice. I feel like the mist is nice. It's not too overpowering or anything like that. That scent is lovely. Huh. All right, y'all. So I think I look stunning. I like everything overall, um, except for this. It's just an okay. It's a like. I feel like I'm feeling a texture or something on my lips with this. And then the mascara, based on pricing, by the Maybelline Sky High. <laughs> save yourself some money um everything else i think was i love and the star product for me today this is patrick ta thing y'all i did not think i would like this you guys know that i i'm not that trendy type of person that likes big old sticking up fluffy brow that's just not me it's not my aesthetic um but because i don't have a lot of brow it makes me look like i have more brow than i do um i definitely think if you're going to get this there is a learning curve to it don't put too much liquid into the compact and if you think you're not getting anything on the brush you are <laughs> and of course go in first on clean brows and then kind of fill in where you maybe are more sparse at um the eyeshadow palette i love the fenty beauty shockingly I like it when i get up close you will see Keep in mind, I do have very dry skin. Um, right in my nose area right here, it is kind of looking a little textured and it is bunching up just a little bit. Um, other than that, though, I think that it looks really, really pretty. I don't feel like it's so full coverage that I feel like I'm wearing a mask. It does not feel heavy at all. The Catrice Sungasm Bronzer, I love. The Huda Beauty, this is also another standout. I honestly did not think I was going to like it as much as I did when I first saw the shade of it. Um, but the texture is beautiful. It's quite balmy and quite emollient. I really like it. Same for the Tarte. Same for the Tarte Cream Blush. Um, the Fenty Beauty Pencil, I really, really love. And I love the brush on it, too. Who knew? Um, and then, of course, the Guerlain. I thought it was a really pretty product. Um, I like that it gave a nice, you know, luminosity to the skin, but you couldn't see the glitter particles or anything. And the texture of it is beautiful. Um, so that's it. I, overall, some wins, you guys. We only had two products that were like, eh, you know, they're all right. Um, everything else, I love. What do you guys think? Have you tested any of these products? Are any of these your holy grail products? Sound off down below. Let mama know. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.